ladies and welcome back it's your girl marquita with marquita lv luxury on today i'm going to speak about some new releases and also speak on the holiday packaging but before we get started make sure you view my past videos like share and subscribe tell a friend how much fun we have over here don't forget to visit your girl on instagram at marquita lv luxury now that we have that out the way you guys know exactly what to do go grab some wine or some tea and a light snack. Hurry back so we can get started. Only been a few hours, but it felt like days. Only been days, but it felt like months. Only gone for a year, only go like once. Life moves fast when you do what you want. I guess I'm doing what I want. Hope you know what you want. I remember when I first started collecting LV handbags, packaging, and the holidays, it meant so much to me. And that's why I was so in love with my first CA because she made sure I had all the packaging, even when I didn't order. So guys, this is the packaging for this year. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I love anything that has gold in it, so I could just be basing it off of what I like. You guys might not like it. You might think it's plain, but I absolutely love it. Let me know what you think. And do you have plans to order anything from this month, December, and also going into January? Do you have a specific handbag that you are basically saying, hey, I know I'm going to get this packaging because I am going to order, or do you just have a dope CA that sends you packaging just because, okay? I'm going to show you a few of the packaging I have collected. Well, when I was collecting um, bags, packaging, I mean, my CA used to have a carrier just send me bags just for no reason. And I used to love that about her and I didn't even have to purchase anything. That's what I call a dope CA. So here are a few yes guys this is actually a bag <laughs> it's a bag i took this to is it hobby lobby yes hobby lobby for framing i showed you guys the process on this i believe it was three years ago i still have this just hung up in my upstairs studio i had to bring them down but this i think this is the california dream bag it came from the california dream bag and i was so excited that i honestly purchased another california dream fragrance which i already sold just so i can get the packaging and box again and once my ca knew that i was in love with packaging that's when it honestly started and as you guys can see i can hang this up and i just got this framed they did all the work i just took the bag in and i'm going to be honest with you the framing can get very very expensive and at that time i didn't care about any prices i just wanted the best so you don't have to go this expensive and I'm not going to disclose how much, but it can get very, um, very expensive. Let me see if you can see it close up. And of course, right here, oh, I don't know what happened, but I was upset about that. Okay, so this is one. And this right here, guys, basically is just a LB bag. Okay, it's just an LB bag that I had in my, you know, we have... A lot of these you guys should have the same too or you can get a box an lb box and take the front top cover of the lb box and you can go and take that frame and get that framed as well okay like i said you can hang it up here it is and see hobby lobby and they do all the work for you okay and Here's another one. And again, these are all bags. And the last one. And, and I this one here, I think it was from the fragrance on the beach, I believe. I received this 
this bag when I uh, purchased that fragrance. I'm not sure. I'm trying to remember at the top of my head right now, and I'm not doing a good job. But you guys understand exactly what I mean. The packaging, holiday packaging, whatever your CA gives you guys, you don't have to throw those away. I know a lot of people that actually buy them. And guys, when they buy, this is what they are doing. They are framing them. And my CA also, like I said, I didn't have to purchase anything. She just had them sent, a carrier. She just had them sent to me. This is from the Game On collection. And I was going to get these framed. Like I said, I've been having these now two years. I think the Game On collection came out in 2021. And I just haven't figured out what to do with them yet. But, again, if you have a good CA, that's what a good CA does, okay? She doesn't just, you know, send you invoices and just expect for you to always just pay for the handbags immediately. She's very patient with you. And she also, if she can, bless you with any and everything that they receive free there, she sends it to you guys. That's a bonus and that's a plus, okay? So I wanted to speak on the holiday packaging. And let, let me know if you do the same thing that I do with basically taking the packaging or even, guys, the boxes. What do you do with the LV boxes? I have still over 100 upstairs in my attic. I do sell some from time to time. And when I do sell things, I like to put them in the box if they request it or if they pay for it. But like I said, guys, we pay for all of these things anyway, you know. What do you do with them? I decided to be a little bit of, you know, a little bit creative and hang them up. Okay. So let's move on to these new releases that are coming out because I feel a certain way. Let's go. Okay. So now that we are all excited about the holiday packaging, I want to speak on these two handbags. It's from the Milky Way collection and the lunch date is January the 12th of, for the new year. I like this. I'm not a fan of light handbags. You guys know I'm not a big fan of the Damier Azure print. I do have a couple in my collection. But let me know how you feel about this. It actually makes me want to purchase an on-the-go tote PM. I don't know. It makes me want to purchase one. But this is the LV on-the-go tote PM from the Milky Way. And the colorway is candy blue. Price $3,400. That's crazy, guys. I, I just want to remind you. This is an on-the-go tote peel, correct? In unprunt leather, okay? I spoke on the denim collection on yesterday. Why is the denim handbags more than this on-the-go tote PM in unprunt leather? Why are the denim handbags more than unprunt leather handbags? Do you guys understand what I'm saying? Are you paying attention to what's going on? Or is it just me being picky and complaining? Maybe it's me being picky and complaining. Okay, so let's 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 move on. Okay. So here is the outside of the handbag. Of course, guys, they are still on their giant LV vibe. You know, they're gonna have that giant print on all of the on-the-go tote handbags. We want them to retire, but as of right now, they're just telling us no and they're ignoring us. But I love this cream. I love this beautiful baby blue. They call it candy blue. The strap matches the handbag, guys. I absolutely love this. I feel as if it should have came in an MM size. And I still have my fingers crossed hoping that it does. But the inside is so beautiful. Absolutely stunning. I like this handbag. Gold hardware, shining. This is perfect. The only thing that I'm complaining about is only because there's no way a denim handbag, a small denim handbag that's smaller than the on the go tote PM being more. Okay, so this is $3,400. And the prices yesterday, I don't even want to repeat, but that's insane to me. Okay, so I wanted to speak on this. Let me know if this is something that you'll be interested in. Honestly, it reminds me of my on the go tote MM that's in that beautiful blue from the By the Pool collection. It reminds me of this blue, the inside interior. Okay, but it's a little, this is a little bit darker. But this is absolutely stunning. 
And honestly, I think I paid, was this handbag like $3,500 before tax? I don't remember, but I don't think it was over $4,000. I could be wrong. I don't remember. But again, guys, you can tell, like I said, where this is going. So I wanted to speak on this handbag because I absolutely love it. I am I am loving this colorway together. This beautiful cream with this candy blue. Again, amazing. Inside, it comes with a side zipper compartment. The gold hardware is just like, boom. It is just blinging so beautiful on this handbag. So... If you're interested, guys, launch date is January the 12th, price $3,400, okay? Ooh, be ready. Product code number M46833. I also want to speak on the Speedy 20. This is so cute. But again, we don't need any cute handbags in our collection. And honestly, I can just see, even on the on-the-go tote PM, color transfer, color transfer, color transfer. And I am not very easy going with my handbags. That's why I prefer carefree handbags, Damier Bean, Damier Dubbing <laughs> handbags or reverse monogram handbags. That's why I kind of, you know, love having those in my collection versus the lighter print. Guys, this is a 20. I wanted a larger size, a 25 and above. But here it is. Very cute. Again, this is from the Milky Way collection. January 12th release date. And I love it. I think I just love the colorway with the, with the gold hardware. You guys let me know what you think. The interior is so beautiful. It comes with a side pocket compartment. I can just imagine just like having this carrying it as a tote with the chain strap still attached this is just so beautiful but i feel like this is a wow bag it really is it's a wow bag so it should be bigger i'm not feeling the smaller size and the on the go tote pm and the speedy 20 but i'm pretty sure lv is not going to stop with these sizes okay I, I just feel like it's, it's going to be more to it the price is two thousand seven hundred and ten dollars Product code number is M46883. Again, this is the Speedy 20 size. Do not get these confused. So, yes, you are paying almost $3,000 for the size 20. But, again, guys, it's unprunt leather. We still have to think that these denim handbags are more than the leather handbags. I don't know. I don't know what's going on, guys. It is what it is. Okay, and I also want to speak on this from the Dune collection, the Atlantis GM. I asked my mother what she wanted, guys, for Christmas, and this is what she wants. OMG. After seeing that video, that unboxing video that I shared with you guys, this is what she is asking for. It already launched here, guys. It actually launched in the U.S. November the 3rd, but the actual launch date is on New Year's. So this is what she wants me to get her for Christmas. I'm not excited about it because once I saw that unboxing and I'm still hearing complaints about the Atlantis handbag, it is making me honestly sick to my stomach. That LB is even letting these things come out of production without being checked. Our CAs, the people online in the warehouse letting these items be shipped like this. Like, it honestly makes me sick to my stomach, and especially for the price, okay? And we know that it's $3,100, so the Atlantis GM, guys, I might have to end up purchasing, and I'm going to try to talk her out of it because I do not want to purchase this handbag. And I honestly was such a big fan of the Atlantis handbag before it came out. You guys know I... I Man, I boasted and I bragged so much about this. Maybe I can find her a vintage piece. Because as of right now, guys, that's what I'm looking into. Vintage handbags. I am looking into vintage handbags. And you guys have been sending me messages saying that I can honestly take it in. Two of my CAs saw my video. Basically, they said the same thing. But guys, I'm going to have to like kind of tweak my words a little bit going in. Because... If I didn't purchase, and someone said it as well, and if it's not in my account, it's going to be hard to get these items fixed. But that's the good thing about having CAs 
on your side as well. So guys, remember I told you the holiday packaging and certain things your CA can can tell you, certain things your CA can help you with, is good to have a CA. Get one on your side. You have to. Okay, so guys, let me know if you are interested in the Milky Way collection that is coming out. I want to see more handbags. Those are the two that I have for you on today. And again, guys, I am going to show you more denim pieces, okay? From the Denim Blue collection, it's going to be either tomorrow or Thursday. Just waiting for my CA to send those over. We are going to receive more SLGs, guys. It's a lot of handbags that are coming out, honestly, in the Denim Blue but you guys know I'm checking out vintage pieces. And shout out to Barbara. She sent me... Uh, a few links on yesterday and guys these handbags some of these vintage handbags are in very good condition so we have some owners out there that really really take good care of their handbags so if you are thinking about you know ordering or you want to order something from the denim blue and you just feel like the price right now just isn't for you you can go and find these handbags on the vintage market or we can just work together and cut up some fashion over jeans or i will go to the goodwill and get some jeans and i will make my own crossbody handbag you guys know what i did with the dust bag i made my own halter top i can i'll make me a crossbody real fast okay if i need to go and go to the goodwill go to ross marshall's get a pair of jeans i can make you a denim handbag if you want okay you you guys like quiet luxury it won't have anything on there it'll be just straight denim i'll even use the pocket from the pants in the back and that can be a card holder so just let me know okay <laughs> so thank you guys so much for tuning in as always stay safe stay blessed until next video and don't forget to let me know how do you feel about the holiday packaging this year is it a nay or a yay is that right yay or nay you guys know what i mean all right guys bye bye Mwah.